All right, this is pretty cool. Brand new display is giving folks a chance to learn the history behind two well-known dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaur and the Triceratops. This morning, Governor Roy Cooper took part in the ribbon cutting ceremony for the dueling dinosaurs display at the Museum of Natural Sciences. And that's where we find WRL's Kat Campbell with a sneak peek. And Kat, since this is dueling dinosaurs, if you had to choose one, Tyrannosaur <laughs> or Triceratops, who are you going with? I'm going to go with the Triceratops. I mean, the head is like two of me combined, and that's just the head. So these are absolutely massive dinosaurs. Each block that you see here is just part of the dinosaur. But today was the official ribbon cutting. And of course, they had to do it in style today. Roy Cooper helped with that. It was a dinosaur that actually, a skull that helped cut the ribbon to open the exhibit. Don't forget, it all opens to the public for free this Saturday. So we got to talk about what's going on in here. This the Triceratops uh, hip here. We got part of the tail, the Tyrannosaur body. So let's bring in the expert. This is Eric Lund. He is the lab manager here, the paleontology lab manager at the SECU Dino Lab. So let's talk about how you got two dinosaurs from where they were discovered in pretty immaculate condition all the way here to Raleigh, North Carolina. Yeah, pretty, pretty miraculous feat to move 31,000 pounds of Montana soil and fossil on flatbed here to North Carolina, and then to get them into the space we're standing in. And we've specifically built this room to be able to take all of the weight of these fossil blocks and be able to work on them in here. It's pretty remarkable. And you have some of the equipment up here. So they actually have a crane that can lift 10 tons at the SECU Dino Lab. This was the real crane that was used to bring in all these pieces and um, of the fossils that you see here. One of the cool things is that you guys are working right here. You're doing your day-to-day -day job and all the kids and all the adults that come through here can see you do it in real time and ask questions. How's that been? You've had a few kids come through with right. some questions. It's, it's going to be pretty amazing. We are the only fossil lab space in the world where people get to come inside on a regular basis and get up close and personal with the paleontologists and the fossils and watch us do our research and our work right there in front of them. It's really cool to see, and you guys have a ton of hands-on exhibits for the kids, so they can try their hands at it, we too, do. and ask you questions, so very interactive for everybody that comes by. You know, one of the things that's so cool about how these dinosaurs were found is that they were found together, and that's one of the big questions that you guys are hoping to answer is why they were found together. So what are some of the initial hypotheses that you guys are going to explore on that? Right, so these dinosaurs are called the dueling dinosaurs, but we don't actually know if they were indeed fighting. They could have just been, one of them could have already been dead, and this one behind us, the Tyrannosaur, could have come to feed on the Triceratops. Or they could have been totally separate and just washed in. The only thing that we kind of know right now is that whatever brought these two animals together was one single event, be it a flood or some other catastrophic event that buried these two animals as carcasses together. It's pretty cool stuff. you got to come out here, see it yourself. It is free. The fun kicks off this Saturday. After Saturday, you do need to reserve a time slot in advance because it's going to be packed in here. What do you say, Elizabeth? Are you going to be coming out to the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences this weekend? 